Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my reviews for uh, the Flash number eight and Green Arrow number seven, which is still Brightest Day crossover. I know that this is um, actually a lot later than I originally intended, but I wanted to give these two a little bit more thought to it. Um, they're both interesting stories in that they're kind of almost, in a way, an origin issue, but without giving you a lot of the um, it's more of a background rather than this is how they gain their power. Um, for an example, I'll do the like Green Arrows first, The Lady in the Forest. Now, personally, I love the cover, first of all. I think this could almost make, uh, if you took out all this extra nonsense, um, this, I think this could make a really good poster. But um, anyways, I, I really enjoyed the art. Um, the, the, the art that was in here, it's um, I didn't expect it from a Green Lantern, or sorry, from like a superhero title. It looked a little bit more realistic. Um, I mean, granted, some of the panels were not that great, like this for an example, but if you look at the um, detailing the faces and things like that, I think um, it showed some emotion, and it was really it was really a good issue in terms of art. Now, the story basically deals with, uh, if you remember in the past, Ollie had some mommy issues because of what happened. And this issue pretty much settles that because the late. Uh, this is going to spoil it a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be like a earth-shattering um, spoiler. The lady in the lake is his mom, and basically he, they have a conversation and they talk about her death. And in a way, it kind of, in a sense, it heals Ali in a way because, in a sense, he's able to finally put that behind him. You know, he's like basically, you know, he blames himself, you know, because, um, you know, they got killed by the lions, but, you know, he's a kid, what's he supposed to do, you know, he's not supposed to be the hero who jumps in front and protects the parents, the parents are supposed to protect him, and in a sense, it was a coming to, coming to terms type issue, and that's why I think this issue is very, very strong in that sense. Now, it's not a, it didn't have as much of an emotional impact for me, like, um, some of the other issues that have done similar stuff like this. Uh, like for example, that Brave and the Bold with um, uh, the Bad Girls Last uh, Night Out. It's nothing like that, but I thought it was really, it was really an enjoyable issue, and I think, you know, depending upon how the writers um, or the editor staff wants to deal with this, it, this, this could actually springboard him into a different direction, rather than being the you know, the, the guy who's always caused, you know, has, has personality issues with um, relationships. So I'm hoping maybe they do something to tweak his character a little bit from this, but we'll see. My guess is they won't, because that would actually require a little bit of effort and continuity effort. Uh, the F Flash Rebirth, uh, this is basically the reverse Flash, um, kind of like an origin issue. Um, this is... The reverse flash came from this time that was really jacked up, where it's like um, everything is basically down to the second. You know, it's you know, like basically you had everybody had a timetable, everybody had to hear that timetable. If you were late with in doing something, then it was inexcusable. And uh, what we have here is this guy who's trying to learn the Speed Force, and he he has brother issues. He's just got issues right and left, like his brother causes him to, um, you know, basically lose his potential future, I guess you can say. Uh, I, I said that wrong, but it's basically, he he set him back uh, from learning the Speed Force, like, countless hours. And um, so anyways, what basically happens is, along the way, all of his obstacles get eliminated. You know, like, for an example, his brother here, you know, what would his, what would his like life have been out what would his life have been like if he didn't have his brother poof reverse flash came in now he's got no brother and then his life takes a different direction then there's a professor the professor held him back didn't give him the job in the flash museum uh, because of that he couldn't study this flat the speed force what would his life have been like if he was gone poof and it just like one right after the other all these different occurrences start happening um, I don't think, I think this is a good issue in the sense that you get to understand his, 
personality, uh, the why he is the way he is, things like that. His some of his, I guess you can say some of his motivations, but I don't think this is like a strong. This is definitely not as strong as the Green Arrow. Uh, if you're looking to start the Green Arrow, even though it it just ended uh, a major storyline, and I think right now this would be a really good time to jump on. Same thing with the Flash. It just finished its storyline, so uh, now we're gonna deal with some deal with this guy here, which unfortunately I think is one of DC's most underused supervillains. I mean, this guy, in theory, could um, do a lot of damage, and their editorial staff and writers don't use this character to do its full potential. Uh, and I understand why. You can't have him kill all these different people, because then now you have no more supporting cast. And I, and I think for what they can do, they do a good job to make him as fearful as possible to the Flash. But I think he, what, a guy like this, you really need to step it up like ten more notches. You really have to make him even more deadly, more insane, more um, somebody that you really truly need to fear. Because uh, as it stands now, I don't. Every time I see it, there's a good, good build up. I'm like interested, and then I look at the end, and I'm like, uh, nothing really great happened from it. Um, but anyways, that's that's my two reviews for these two issues. Um, like I said, very, very good. I really enjoyed it, uh, which which was kind of like caught me by surprise. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, new comic book day is tomorrow, so we'll, I'll have uh, new books. I did read Alan Moore's book, and I still have to do a review on that one, and that one was a little odd. Not as odd as issue two, though. So anyways, um, until next time. Uh, oh, uh, rate the video up or down, let me know what you think. Um, also, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you think the reverse flash is up to his full potential? Do you think he's underused? I mean, not underused, but do you think they're underperforming um, this character? Let me know, and um, until next time.